In this episode, hacks for leftovers. Now, if you're going to be heating up leftover pizza in a microwave, it's going to probably turn out rubbery or soggy. Or if you do it in a toaster oven, it's going to come out dry, hard or uneven. So here's a really cool hack to make it nice and fresh again. What you need is some aluminium foil. So hold the middle and then make a cone shape with this. Twist the end. I'm going to put my pizza in the pan. So now just cover the pizza with a tin foil hat and then just turn your stove on. So it's been a few minutes. I think it's just about ready. Look at that melted cheese. And there you have it. A nice fresh piece of pizza. Can you hear this? That means it's crunchy. <laughs> oh. So this one is for all you Gamkana people out there that die die want to save their Lao Hyong Lao Hong chips. <laughs> for all of you foreign viewers out there, Lao Hong means stale. Gamkana is stingy, really really stingy people. So this is how you get them crispy again. All you need is a paper towel. Put it on a plate. I've got my plate of chips right here and I've left them overnight so they're nice and lao hong and stale. Spread your chips over the paper towel. Now you're just going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And ah, it's hot. I mean, that's hot. <laughs> Oh, if my mother heard me swearing now. So there you go, some nice crispy fresh chips. Can you hear it? Zia, I my. When cooking pasta, you can actually cook the whole packet and then freeze the portions that you're not going to eat today. Here's how you do it. Shove the pasta that you're not going to eat today into the Ziploc bag. Get as much air as you can out of the Ziploc bag and then seal it. So next time you want to eat pasta, you don't have to go through the trouble of cooking it from scratch. You just grab your little pasta baggie out of the freezer, dip it in hot water for a few minutes. Pretty easy. Look at that. So it's starting to soften up and it's only been a minute. How am I going to get that now? Well, it's not... <gasps> this time I put my fork on the side. It's really hot still. All right. So as you can see, the pasta is defrosted. Cook pasta in just two minutes. Easy. So if ever you need to microwave something that kind of splatters or spills out, here's a really cool trick that you can use. So right here I have some oatmeal with some milk. All you need is a paper towel, put it over your bowl like that, put it in the microwave and that is it my friends. I think I might have left it in there a little bit too long because now the paper towel is sunken in but it does prevent it from overflowing. You can see where it came up to and the paper towel stopped it. I have a friend in the restaurant industry and he told me that there are some restaurants that like to use these hacks. How to get not so fresh bread seem fresh again. All you need is some water or a paper towel. I'm going to do one first. Spray the bread with the water on both sides. Don't make it really soggy. Now just pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Ooh, it's really soft now. Look at this. Ooh, it's hot. Oh, that's hot. Wow, damn steam all. Get my other stale piece out. It's pretty stale, not much bounce going on. Another hack is to wet your paper towel with the water. So that's pretty much wet enough. So you can place the paper towel over your bread, chuck it in the microwave for another 30 seconds and that is it. It's as simple as that. Now you can do this with other dishes like fried rice or I don't know, noodles or whatever. Anything that dries up really fast. All right. And there you have it. Ooh, fresh looking bread. Ooh, it's really hot. Hack done. And that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, please download the free Click Network app to watch all of our videos right when they come out, before they hit YouTube. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>